Hey everyone, we are 2AM. That's two assholes and a microphone. My name is Dirk. This is Crystal. And today we have Ryan Upchurch, red, white, and blue jeans. This was requested by Jess, Jessica M. Gallion. She's requested from us before. Thank you very much for asking for this. Now this doesn't have a video attached to it, so it's just going to be the audio. Yeah. And before we get started, I want to ask y'all. I'm really, really looking forward to Tom and Adam's new song. How many of you were actually surprised that it was Adam Tom was talking about? Because I kind of suspected it. Yeah, you know, Adam been given hints too. That's true. Apple pie looks like the ma the brown water. Looks the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the apple pie shine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Three turns brown, apple pie shine looks the same. Where the kids run loose, got the chickens in the coop, and the dog ain't got no chain. <laughs> the kids run loose, got the chicken in the coop, and dog ain't got no chain. Yep, yep been there. <laughs> got to keep them in the coop, cause otherwise the dog get them. <laughs> you can call me white trash, you can say what you want, but buddy, at the end of the day, I'm a true blue collar, sweating bullets for the dollar, proud to live in the USA. Sweating bullets, bullets for the dollar, yeah, talking about being hard working, uh, working outside or working on a factory, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Say what I want at any given time. Ain't afraid to what? Pop around out of my nine. <laughs> yeah. Out in the country, you know, out there shooting for fun and things oh, like yeah. that. Putting, Target practice. You no, know, putting cans and bottles up on the fence, and yeah, that's how my uncle taught me how to shoot. <laughs> I want at any given time. Ain't afraid to pop around right out of my nine. The roads are dirt and the hills all rolling. Popping pennies out of trees with a rimming tin. Daddy told me. Really? Well, you started a lot younger than I did. Popping pennies out of a tree with a Remington. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. It's at about age six. Popping pennies out of trees with a rimming tin. Daddy told me hard work. Mama taught me class. And Grandpa taught me how to kick someone's ass. <laughs> I got yeah. up on two stone and lonesome dust. That right there is right up our alley, too. <laughs> For the most part. What's up? I think I missed it. <laughs> Go back a sec. There we are. Holding lonesome dove, John Wayne, Wyatt Earp, and Dale Earnhardt. I was raised to respect and protect my kin, no matter right or wrong or what they did. Yeah, I was raised to respect and protect my kin, no matter right or wrong or what they did. Yup. <laughs> Reminds me of me and my sister growing up. I was always cleaning up her messes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was there for a couple of those, so. This is one of those songs I could see at a party dancing to. Like, oh yeah. This is awesome. Oh yeah. Oh. 
You know, you gotta pause <coughs> it if you're gonna talk. I was just pointing out the guitar. That's all. I was yeah, doing. that guitar is awesome. Right. I might smoke a little grass, but that's okay. No worse than what I'm seeing on the news today. Hate groups putting their towns in flames, and the president wants to take her guns away. Everybody. <laughs> Ooh. And this was back in 2017. Talking about the president wanting to take the guns away and stuff like that. Not exactly true under that particular president, but. Well, the the previous president. And t uh, <coughs> I don't know, like, I don't think it was the president wanting to do it. I think the president, whoever is in office at the time, is the one that gets the blame for whatever gets done. True. But it's Senate and Congress and all these other uh, <coughs> lobbyists and shit like that that really is the problem. But the president gets the blame or the credit. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody want to lie to save their ass, don't write write a, a fat, fat check, check bitch, you, you can't cash. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Lie just to save their ass, don't write a fat check, bitch, you can't go cash. I'm a there, I think he's talking about the politics of the time and what was going on there. Mm -hmm. uh, but it can be applied to life, too. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh yeah. So. Save their ass, don't write a bad check, bitch, you can't go cash. I'm a God-fearing, barefoot, money, water, bloodline, yelling USA at every single damn show of mine. We're proud. Stand up for what's right. So watch your mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. This song would fit right in with uh, Bo Cephas and you know that particular outlaw country. Outlaw country. Yeah. yeah. That good outlaw country. I and it it reminds me of the environment and the group of people that we were around when we were young and growing up and. Mm -hmm. When we were teenagers, and yeah, mm hmm. We're proud, stand up for what's right above and watch your mouth. Love fire in a jar, John Deere green in the land of red, white, and blue jeans. Oh, yeah, red, white, and blue jeans. Seconds, it would drop a different instrument. Right. I'd like to know who his band is, if anybody knows, because they are talented as hell. 
Absolutely. It's freaking awesome just to listen to the music. Yeah, we, we were just grooving there at the end. There was just the, just the music going. There at the very end, it kind of had this like 70s flair to it, bit, which yeah. was really cool. Um, I don't hear a whole lot of that that actually sounds good, but that sounded awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank you for requesting this song. Absolutely. I enjoyed the hell out of that. And whoever he has playing these these instruments really need to be brought out into the daylight so people can give them their proper due. For sure. Like, this... Okay, the only thing stopping me from putting this song on a playlist for me is I wouldn't know what to put it on because I don't have a country playlist. I, I listen to a lot of different music but I don't listen to a whole lot of country, so I don't have enough country to put on a playlist. Right. <clears throat> but, but, yeah, it's like I said earlier, it, it would be right at home in, in a Hank Jr. concert, you know, because he has the, he doesn't have, well, he doesn't have the same grit in his voice as a Hank Jr., but he definitely has the same attitude. Right. Now, my only problem with the modern country, I like a lot of the older country stuff, but after, I don't know, after a while it just got canned and watered down and... Repetitive. Repetitive. And, and yeah, it got really poppy and there was nothing to distinguish it from other genres the way that it used to be, so I just kind of fell out of it. Yeah. So, but anyway, like, share, subscribe. Bring our little bell. Do all the little things. Leave a comment down below for us. Be blessed, y'all. Peace.